Beach FM, locals talking to locals. As uh, taking us to the Oracle of Paikakariki, it's a very good morning to Ralph McAllister. Good morning, sir. Do you believe in miracles as well as oracles? <laughs> <laughs> We've been having an interesting conversation off hand, off air. No, not off hand at all. It was it was perfectly <laughs> seemly, except we disagreed yeah. about something which was quite surprising. However, I I always agree with your recommendations in terms of the theatre and um, the reading. And I understand you've got a couple of books for us today, Ralph. Yeah, but before I mention that, I know you talked to Jan Bulbul yes. uh, about her play, which um, finished its season last Saturday to packed houses every night, and I was very, very proud of what they accomplished. And, of mm. course, hopefully they'll travel if they can afford to get some financial backing around the country because wonderful sort of setting up of the different opinions on euthanasia, beautiful dancing, Stunning acting, including several people from this beautiful, creative Paitakariki. Yes. And um, also, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was probably one of the highlights of my concert going live in the last 2,000 years was on at the um, Fowl House on last Friday. Not the Fowl, Fowl always the Fowl House, but mm-hmm. uh, the Resurrection Symphony by Mahler. And oh. I, I just... I wept all the way back to the railway station. It was oh, so beautiful. But, Ralph. But, but really, this is my brief for books as well. And I've got two for you this morning, John. Do you yes. want the good or the bad first? Oh, let's start with the bad. <clears throat> well, Anne Enright, that's E-N-R-I-G-H-T, she's a, a Booker-winning prize, prize-winning uh, from about 12 or 13 years ago. So her new book is called Actress. And the dear kind people at uh, Paper Plus let me have a proof copy because it's not being published in, uh, in the world until February. And they thought, oh, Ralph would be interested in this because of his theatre background and so on. And the more I read it, it's about um, a, 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 a fictitious um, actress, a star in her own sort of firmament. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's, she's Irish, but she's not. She's, she says she's Irish. And it's a story of her life, really, told through the eyes of her her daughter. Um, it tells of her stardom, and it tells of up and down on the stage in Dumble, Dublin and London. And it, it, if I could could just have liked the leading woman, that's Catherine, who chain-smoked her way through and was self-centred to the point of, uh, you know, the utmost arrogance... I might have stayed with it, but I just found the whole thing rather unappealing and it kept jumping back and forward through time. Now, I'm not putting down Anne Enright. She's written some very good um, novels, including The Gathering, which got her the book. But this is not for me, so when I take my proof copy back to Paper Plus this morning, I'll have to just accept, uh, just tell them that, no, I'm sorry, it's not, it's not, it doesn't do, do enough for me, so... That's the actress. And Ralph, just before uh, you move on to the good, uh, you said yeah. um, you may have stuck with it. Does that imply that you didn't finish reading it? Uh, look, it's very, very seldom, John, that I never finish a mm. book. I don't finish a book. I, it took me a bit of a skim reading near the end. Right. So I didn't get through it all. Right. And, and I mean, it's, just, it's beautifully written, but I just didn't care about any of the characters. And if you don't care about characters in a character-written novel, well, then where are you? you know, Precisely. Uh, Precisely. What is the good? On. Yes. Um, who do you think is the world ca- capital of Jack Reader madness of Lee Childs? Got no idea. New Zealand. Good grief. Yeah. It, went, it just goes crazy good grief. about Reacher. And, of course, the new one, 23rd novel by Lee Child, is called Blue Moon. It's out now, and all oh, its lovely glory. How many Lee, How many um, Jack Reacher novels has he written? Oh, so, quite a few. And in, Half a dozen? Uh, well, come on, have a guess. Half a dozen? 20. My three. gosh. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. Well, he does a very good interview with Mitchell Lee. Is it Mitchell, the one who wrote the 
Game of Thrones. He he does an interview with them at the end of the book, and um, that's where I found out he's done 23. That's where I found out New Zealand's the capital of Reacher, the world Reacher title. Um, but it's of course his success is phenomenal, mm. and I read. I don't know if I've read 23. But the secret of his success to me, apart from the writing and the dreadfully violent Jack Reacher who kills everybody within blinks, you know, yep. it, 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 you're dead. Um, the, it's the fact that you can pick up any novel by uh, Lee Child of the Jack Reacher series and they don't change. They're not in sequence. They're not like, say, John Rebus, who ages with every, you know, mm -hmm. um, book that is written by him. Um, for him, you know, um, but reach is the same, and so you don't have to worry about plot line in terms of oh dear, I should have read that one. He doesn't do that. He just has this formulaic, mm. wonderfully violent caution for people people who don't like blood. Um, and I can sit through these books of his oh in a day, you know. Goodness so, me. Um, so easy to read and they always have strong plot lines and he always wins. Now, for how long he's going to go on, he just loves doing it and he's, why not, with the millions he read him every day? Precisely. He's an industry, isn't he? Oh, I would think he's a total sort of, um, sort of empire. Really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's coloured that part of the market and everybody else... Um, really pales and that sort of violent uh, non-police um, you know character mm. he's made it his own and good luck to him indeed so you recommend it oh hell yes oh, oh yeah. hell yes um, it was blue yeah, what you blue? Know, well, otherwise people would call me an unmitigated snot which I probably <laughs> have but oh no 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 I, it's pure or impure escapism, and I love it. Great stuff. And the name again was Blue what? Blue Moon. You Blue, know, Blue Moon. moon. Uh, so you, you know, you remember that one? I do. No, do. I do. Me. Very well. Excellent, Ralph. Thank you so much for joining us with the good and the bad this morning here on Beach. Can I go back to my football? <laughs> okay. You can go back to your okay. soccer. Okay, mate. All the best to you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 106.3 Beach FM.